The title of the show, um, She Bites Her Tender Mind, is taken from a Sappho's poem uh, from Anne Carson's translation. A lot of it is just fragments, and I was really struck by how uh, modern it, it seems and how uh, it really holds up now. And I love her, her celebration of women and I started trying to imagine what it was like for her living in that time in Greece, projecting myself um, into her and just kind of fantasizing. And, and so a lot of the figurative paintings came out of that. These rooms are um, domestic. They have the mold, original moldings and uh, fireplaces that seem modern and classic. Uh, so it seemed appropriate and they also kind of fed into my interest in um, Airbnb interior <laughs> decorating, <laughs> how a, a room gets branded in a certain way with the art, everything matches down to the uh, the toiletries in the bathroom are the same color blue, maybe it's a painting in there, and images that have to do with travel, like a painting that will say explore on it, or the adventure starts here, or joy, or be good to your neighbor, <laughs> these things. Um, and I was also thinking about feminism and how words like empowerment is kind of a way to kind of brush over really what feminism is or kind of make it seem more digestible. So I wanted the show to represent feminism more kind of in an aggressive way or just kind of female energy in a more aggressive way. The film in the back room is called Proposal for a Dance, and it was um, for my niece, who's a dancer, um, and I performed in Berlin in a small club. So it's these two designer dresses by Rodarte, two Fender amps, two guitars, and I told her to make sound without trying to play the guitar or move without dancing. Um, and it was shot with three cameras, and it's kind of a, I guess you could say it's a throwback to process art, <laughs> in a way, which I really like a lot of the art from the 70s. Yeah, so a lot of the, um, the work, um, my work is a trace, tracing of the body or some activity, um, maybe violent um, or sublime. Um, like these painted uh, jean miniskirts, um, and that's called the Boyfriend Series. Um, and I, I don't know, I feel like anything is fair game for, for paint, so. Um, like this, this uh, event table, um, you know, which normally you'd see like at a, like an art opening or a corporate event or anywhere where cocktails are served. <laughs> circle in the other room is the shape, the size is derived from the span of my arms as if I was twirling around on stage. Um, and so it's kind of, it, I like it because it feels like a, 
a ritual, or it looks like it was from a ritual of some kind. Which to me, rock is like that. Um, rock and roll. <laughs> of um, noising paintings that I started um, in I don't know, 2008 or something like that. Um, I did as a series and they're taken from names of noise bands and the last couple of shows when I included pieces of them I found that they they work really well with the other work. They, they start talking to each other. <laughs> So I thought Dead Machines was a good one to include here because it spoke to the use of the female form as a and figure painting as a expression. Like.